So often when you buy a home or have granite countertops installed, you'll see that they have these granite backsplash that obviously overlaps the current counter. And I'm gonna show you today how to take this off with minimal damage. These are gonna be the tools we're gonna to need today. Need some shims, hammer, utility knife, molding tool, spackle, and the most important thing is the heat gun. So what you're gonna see is we're gonna work on this little section, but just by the looks of it, I'll show you the damage that we have done for this long piece. It's very minimal from what I have seen on the internet. You know, there are certainly when the contractor put it on, they put it in little sections, then cover the entire wall. But this is gonna be tile anyway, so I'm not so worried about the sheetrock or drywall being damaged here. This can easily be sanded and uh, we'll be taking the glue off as well so that it's a nice, easy uh, installation of the tile. So let's get started. I certainly made that look easy, but it's just patience. This was obviously a small piece compared to the rest. And it just takes patience of putting the putty knife down there, cutting your way through some of this, and then putting the shims in there to wedge it away from the wall. So the last thing is this bead that we have underneath here. And it's been a little bit difficult to pull off. Just like that, we've removed the backsplash. As you can see, there's some caulk and glue here, but outside of that, it is in good, good shape, ready for some nice tile backsplash.